I'm a visa consultant, and one of my jobs is to write cover letters for applicants. In the cover letter that we write, we have to be compelling enough in a message so that we can convince the visa officer about our intentions and motives. In a Vista visa application, we must demonstrate that we have an intent to return, and otherwise we qualify for the Vista visa. For study visa application, we have to apply using something called a SOP, like a statement of purpose. So I'm going to use chat GPT to find out if I can write a cover letter. Let's take a look. Write me a cover letter for my application for visitor visa to Canada. Is a spelling mistake? Okay, let's take a look. Chat GPT, what can you do for me? Almost immediately it starts working. Dear sir, madam, I'm writing to apply with you. I'm extremely excited. I like that. Prospect of visiting a beautiful country, experience all that it has to offer. It's amazing how the system can uh, pre configure uh, a structured subject matter on which you can base and tweak around and, you know, complete, finalize your own cover letter. Uh, but that's quite uh, impressive. It is a general letter, but it uh, covers uh, all the basic points and then, you know, people can tweak around. It's a nice letter. I think this letter is, uh, is um, uh, structurally okay and it, it will uh, help a lot of especially fresh visa consultants who are beginning out and they are struggling, uh, especially if, if English is not the first language and they always try to copy and paste using some successful letters in the past and then trying to change some words left and right. But this is a good, uh, not a bad letter. Let's uh, regenerate. Let's see if they can write again uh, a new set of letter. Dear visa officer, I'm writing to express my intent to apply for visitor visa. I'm a day -day 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 -day. Yeah, I like that. Not bad, actually. Not bad because it can... Uh, I can imagine if a visa consultant uh, in, a, in a different country who's uh, doing at least, let's say, a volume of application, five to 10 applications a day, and they have to use a different cover letter to modify, and they, they can definitely use this as a building blocks. All right, let me try for a study visa. Write me a statement of purpose for Oh, sorry, statement, the wrong spelling. Statement of purpose for my student visa application to Canada. Let's take a look. What I what I am impressed about is is, is almost instantly it just uh, starts off, you know, as if they have everything custom made and ready made. I'm writing to spend my intent to apply for study visa Canada in order to pursue my day to day bachelor masters. Okay, I've been fast, uh, fascinated by Canada education system. Believe that uh, long term goals have been accepted. Wow, mm -hmm. it's quite uh, quite remarkable how the system can. Uh, configure from the existing text available online or en elsewhere and then. Uh, bring all this thing together and make a letter. It's not bad at all. Let me just regenerate. Let's see what you can find out, the second one. So we have four letters now, two for study uh, study visa and uh, two for visitor visa. And pretty much you can write uh, anything uh, on this. Oh, wow. Furthermore, I am committed to being a responsible student and a positive representative of my country while in Canada. I'll comply with all Canada laws. Oh, man. I <laughs> respect the culture and customs and make it us volunteer. As you can see, it, we have four letters now, and it hardly took uh, 
less than maybe two minutes or three minutes for these four letters to come through. I mean, uh, in routine applications, this is a good tool for you to uh, start your research and start building uh, building a more uh, you know refined letter uh, based on the situation of your own client. So this is it. Hey, thank you very much for your uh, time and response. I would like to uh, get your feedback. What do you think about these letters? And maybe one of these days, I'm going to use a letter on this for an actual client, and then I'll get back to you and what happened to the application. By the way, most Canada visa applications, like temporary applications, are also decided or triaged by a system, software system called Chinook. It will be funny to to know uh, this cover letter is generated by technology and my application is also uh, pre-screened by technology. Uh, so two technologies clashing at one another and uh, who knows what is the outcome? Will we actually get the visa based on these technologies? We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.